To create language agnostic instructionals, you need to extract nice looking isometric snapshots of parts from FreeCAD. First, install an automated script, also known as a macro, for extracting isometric views. Download the IsoView macro. To install this macro in Ubuntu, go to the Files folder, View menu, Show hidden files, and drag the macro that you downloaded into the FreeCAD directory. You will then see the macro appear in the FreeCAD macro menu under Macros. You can edit the macro and you'll see that it is written in Python. Open a FreeCAD file to extract an isometric view. Select the part you want by double-clicking on it. If the part that you want consists of several smaller parts, go to Assembly 2 Workbench for assembling the needed parts. Then go to Part Workbench, select all of those assembled parts, and use the Make Compound tool in the Part menu. Then select the Compound piece by double-clicking on it. Execute the macro by going to the Macro menu, Macros, and select the ISO View macro. Then click Execute, which should take up to 1.5 minutes, depending on the piece, complexity, and your computer capacity. To make it easier, activate the macro toolbar, go to view menu toolbars and check macro. Now you can access the macro list by clicking on the indicated tool. Double click on the new drawing page called auto drawing. Expand the auto drawing folder and you will have four ISO views from different angles. Don't worry about having four ISO views or their position on the sheet. At this point all that matters is the scale of those ISO views that we'll put in the language agnostic instructional. Default scale is 2. You can change scale for each drawing. For example, selecting the first view, ISO view 1, you can enlarge it to 4 going to combo view property panel data tab drawing view and change scale value to 4 recommended scale is between 1 and 6 the smaller the piece the larger the scale try to use the same scale for all the necessary drawings in a language agnostic instructional now in drawing workbench select the auto drawing folder then click on export a page to a SVG file open the SVG file with Inkscape make sure the ISO view you want does not overlap with others you can move them by dragging with the mouse zoom in out with control plus mouse wheel and move the sheet with spacebar plus mouse. Make required fixes to the image using the tool Edit Path by Nodes. To delete a line segment, click on it twice. Now double click and press Del key. Go to File menu, Export PNG image. Change to the selection tool and select the ISO view you want to export. Make sure you are exporting a selection in the selection area. Choose the folder and file name. Click on Export. Now that you have extracted and cleaned up an isometric view, you are ready to use the view as part of your instructional. Create a language agnostic instructional Google presentation. To do this, go to Instructionals cover page on the wiki and click on Edit. Go to File menu and make a copy. Enter the name of the instructional that you're working on. Click OK and share the file with the Word. Update the cover page with the correct information. Add a new slide. Insert the PNG image you just exported from Inkscape. Repeat until you have all the necessary images. Compose the instructional using the guidelines on the Language Agnostic Instructional Protocol wiki page. Use arrows to show steps and how parts combine. It's almost like an exploded part drawing parts with letter and number, such as F for frame, so that a detailed part drawing from the drawing dimensioning workbench is included in an appendix to the language agnostic instructional. Use magnifying glass bubbles to show specific details. Use arrows to point to specific details. Use fab tool icons as needed. Mark quality control points with the indicated icon. Use these icons over a step to show how not or to do something. Color over starting steps with green and finish step with red. Once you've finished extracting all the images from FreeCAD and clean them up in Inkscape, put all the clean images in a folder and compress them. Upload a zip file to the wiki. Add a new slide to your language agnostic instructional document and include links to working instructional script that you followed to make the instructional FreeCAD isometric source file and Inkscape source file. The zip file you just uploaded. Create a new wiki page titled part name, language agnostic instructional and link from your work log. In your working document, go to file menu, publish to the web, embed, click publish, click ok and copy the embedding link. On the wiki page, go to edit and insert the embedding link this way. Include a link for editing your language agnostic instructional document. In the document click on share, get shareable link or copy link. Put the link in your language agnostic instructional wiki page this way. Now you can both see the working document and edit it by clicking edit. Share your language agnostic instructional wiki page in the OSE network group.